Commonwealth of Kentucky versus Tiffany Lucas. This is case number 23CR404. Oh. Miss Lucas. Come on, you're Miss Lucas. Come on over here to the podium. The matter is before the court today to review the status of her attorney. What we're doing, ma'am, is just making sure you make contact with your lawyer. Are you representing? Yes, Your Honor. Richard Lonazak with the Department of Public Advocacy Trial Branch. Uh, on behalf of Ms. Lucas, uh, we would like the opportunity at this time to formally request discovery in the case. We've got no objection to any reciprocal discovery orders. Uh, we would ask the court, we did file a motion in district court to preserve evidence, and we just ask the court to adopt that order. Okay. All we're here today for is attorney status. If you have specific motions, you need to file those with the court to be heard by the court. Now, if there have been made requests, Commonwealth is certainly on notice at this time of your request. The case was set today to make sure that Ms. Lupus was aware of who her attorney was. Do you have information to give her so that she knows how to contact you? Yes, Your Honor. The case is set for March the 18th at 1 o'clock to set for trial. We'll pass it to that date, all right? Thank you, Your Honor. It's all for you. Sir, can you, sir, would you write down your name and contact information for the clerk's office? Please? Yes, Your Honor. I've actually heard that here. Card, that's that's sure. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Commonwealth versus Lou. Does anyone have anything or anyone that wants to go first or anything in particular? No. I'll start with the body. Just okay. Tell me, especially for you making such a long trip here, why is it so important for you to, to be here even for something little like this? Um, because I just wanted to make sure that the state or whoever, they know that the boys have some somebody speaking for them. And I want her to see my face every time. I want her to see our face every time she come out that courtroom. We're going to be here. What does that tell her? That they have somebody fighting for them. Michelle, same question for you. Just explain to me why it's so important to be here for even something so little like this. Um, just to be there for Reese and his brother and just make sure that, like Bobby said, that she knows that we're here to support him and we've always been there for him. And she knows what she did, so she knows that we're going to be here and make sure that they get the justice that they deserve. This is how it's always been. We've always been here. She just didn't want it. Today, you know, I realized when I looked at the calendar. It's two months. Today is two months, exactly. How has your world changed in two months, and where do things stand now? How, how has it changed? It's changed for me, but how has it changed for my brother? He's there, you know, he's his father. Like I can only, I was telling Shelly the other day, if I feel the way I feel, I can only imagine what he feels. I can't imagine that. You know. Again, it was two kids, Who, that's not normal, so, yeah. We're all affected, like, I still cry every day. Do you think your brother will come, or is it too hard for him? I think it's too hard for him, really. I really do. You guys talked about making sure she saw your face every time, but you've also got to look at her. I don't care, I, I want to look at her. I want, she won't give, she won't give me I don't know if she's giving Shelly eye contact. She won't. She's not going to do it. She saw us today, though, for sure. Yeah, she saw us. She did. Is that hard on you having to look at her? No, it's not, because I know that she knows how much I would have been there for Little Reese and how much um, I was there for him and what I could have done if she couldn't do it or, you know, what she took him away from. So. Um, I feel like it lets her know that she knows I was there for him and I loved him more than she did, obviously. Is there anything else you all want people to know about the boys? I think everybody that, ha that has encountered them in some form or way, they knew how sweet and innocent the boys were. When I, they just were. I'm not just saying that because they were my nephews. They were very sweet 
and they're innocent, they're kids. We shouldn't be, have to be here going through this. They shouldn't have had to go through what they went through at all. And I would feel the same if it was anybody's kids. They don't deserve, they didn't deserve it. Have you gotten any clarification on what happened with the mix up from the hospital? No. They haven't, as far as I know, they have not reached out to my brother or my mother or any or anybody. Not not the hospital, not the morgue, not the coroner, not CPS, nobody. How does that make you feel? Um, it makes me feel like like they know they did something wrong. Obviously. Yes, they know they dropped the ball, and and like I told like I told the prosecutor like. My main focus of being here is because CPS failed them once. It's proof. I have proof. Then the more corner hospital, whoever, they failed them. I'm not allowing the court system to fail them. She did what she did, and she needs to go to jail. And you already know my opinion it's on, on what I would like to see, you know. But it's not fair to them. Again, they were innocent kids and it should be some kind of protocol with CPS it should be especially when CPS was already involved on more than one occasion and I've contacted them other people have contacted them they dropped the ball anything else you all want to add about the importance of just being here every time and you know this this was a really quick appearance some of them have taken quite a bit you know, just being here for all I don't care if it's one minute. If, if I can physically be here, I'm going to be here. One last question for you. You mentioned that you cry every day. When I saw her in court, it's exactly the way she was the last time, which was cold and different, and I don't care. Can you comment on her attitude, or do it's, you know anything about that? That's exactly how I feel. She just doesn't. I can't even say how I would feel because I would never do that. But she's, it's just cold. It just shows her personality. It just shows it. It's, it shows what we have been saying to CPS all along and nobody ever did anything. At some point, you have to stand up for the other parent. It's not always the mom. It's, the mom is not always right in some cases. You're welcome. Thank you.